boys here we go finally after years and years and years of hunting it's here the cobra rattler from gi joe i had this plane when i was a child and this was one of my favorite gi joe airplanes the cobra rattler with wild weasel as the pilot and my plane when I, that I had when I was a kid was just about in this condition. So I have been wanting, I've been hunting for one to be in mint shape for as long as I can. I mean, the last three or four years I've been hunting for one in good shape. Um, because the one I had as a kid, I kept in good shape. It looks like it needs a cleaning. This is fresh out of the shipper box that he sent it in. So I'm going to have to clean this thing up. There's dust and dirt on it, but uh, that's okay. This thing is awesome with Wild Weasel in the cockpit. Let's start looking at some details on this thing. Comes with Wild Weasel. This Wild Weasel was broken at the, uh, the rubber band was broke, which could have reduced the price on the, uh, on the, on the whole thing. Um, I just unscrewed his back. He had a good screw back there. It's nice and silver, not rusted. And uh, replaced the rubber band, put him back together, and he's tight, as you can see. Um, slight discoloration on the elbows, but that's okay with these old figures. He looks great. These are still intact and good looking. Nice coloring all the way around. Pretty good paint, not a lot of wear and tear. Now, I, I already have like one or two Wild Weasel figures. Um, because he actually had a name, I don't really uh, troop build this guy, but it, he seems pretty easy and common, uh, simple to find. So I do, I do, I already had like one or two of them. I think I already have two of them. I can't get to my G.I. Joe room. It's behind all the boxes. But, um... Yeah, so, but this one might be in better shape than any of the ones I have because his symbol here is pretty good on his arm. A lot of times that doesn't even exist. It'll be worn away. These, like I said, the sticker things on his knee, on his thighs, whatever, are really good. The paint on the sword, his boots have good paint. The straps and all the stuff, the blue in there, his helmet looks great. So, uh... Overall, I mean, this looks, this is fantastic. And the, the vehicle even comes with the bullet ridden, the shot up panels that can go on the sides, which we can, we can clip on and I'll show you. Uh, surprisingly, he threw in a little picture from the, from the box. I didn't expect that, but it shows you where the missiles go. So that's kind of cool. You know, you, you won't get it wrong. And I also didn't know, I didn't see in the pictures, but it was a nice surprise to find this. The the uh, file card, which I, I don't think I have a file card for Wild Weasel. So this is a really good addition. Um, now, as, as you guys know, I've been hunting for years for one of these, like I said earlier in the video. Because a lot of times the... Um, whoops. The... The, um, you can see it here, there's some stress marks on the wheels. Now, the more and more you open and close these wheels, the more chance you have of them breaking off. And um, it's best, you know, at this point to just leave the wheels in their down position. Um, all of these will break over time. The problem is, is that there's a lip here a very large lip you can see going up and around the bottom that you have to get the wheel over when you open and shut this thing. So the more you open and close these wheels, the more risk you are of, of, of damaging these. And um, you, you're you better off, like, like right now, it's going to stay, the landing gear is staying down for the rest of this thing's life. Um, I dropped it. An engine part here they go they clip on right there there we go 
And then uh, this thing has rotatable wings that go up like that. The engine's vertical takeoff and landing. And a lot of times you'll see the wings stressed in this area as well, right on the fold where they move. Um, stress marks kind of like this. And uh, it's basically because these things get bent and moved in ways they're not, they shouldn't be moved all the time. Um, it's real difficult to find one. This is why it took me so long. It's difficult to find one with little to no stress marks on the wings and no broken wheels. Um, generally, when you find these in the wild, they will either have broken wings or highly stressed wings or broken landing gear or highly stressed near the edge of breaking landing gear. Um, they're, they're, it's rare to find one in this shape. Um, missiles include this long one with a black tip. Make sure the black tips are there. These tips come off. You've got the little bombs that go on there on either side. Then you've got uh, like Hellfire missiles, almost like Sidewinder type missiles, two under each wing. And then you have a carriage of bombs. It's um, it's three bombs on a, on a carriage rack that can drop off. Um, and what's interesting about that is the bombs and missiles on G.I. Joe things all use the same system of this kind of peg. Um, so you could take these off, one of these off, and put one on there. You know what I mean? Interchange things, the stuff like that. It's pretty cool. This vehicle has a cockpit uh, cockpit that works here. The wild Weasel can fit right inside very easily. So sliding him in. Closes up on him just fine. Looks great in there. Um, this cockpit can have various degrees of smokiness to it. It can be completely clear all the way down to uh, almost so dark you can't see the figure. Um, mine is relatively pretty good. It's just got that slight smoke to it. Um, I think the originals did have a slight smoke to it. Uh, but it might have been just a tiny bit clearer than this one is. The other, the other spot for a figure is we have this gun platform. The gun can move up and down and it can spin around, uh, you know, side to side and everything. The, the thing opens up for the gun. And you can place a figure inside so that he can shoot away. I think he's got it backwards here. Because you want to put the figure in like that. Yeah, I think he's got the... Um, it Somehow it got backwards. I'm going to have to take this apart. And swivel the... Oh, no, no. You can just swivel it. Look at this. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So we can just swivel it around. Um, but I did think the seat was supposed to go that way so that it shot out the back. But I don't know. That's okay. We can do this. <laughs> Yeah, pretty cool. Um, and now we're looking at the side panels. So what I was talking about was there are side... Oh, sorry, the gun. We'll look at the gun first, and then we'll do the side panels. So there is a machine gun underneath if you rotate it with your finger and thumb. You can... Do, 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 Like a Gatling gun kind of thing. And now, yeah, so these panels pop off and there's little engine parts and things that you can work on on there. But you also can put on a damaged panel that will, um, how's this go? Like this, right? So it looks like it got shot up. Took a few hits from a G.I. Joe vehicle. And, um, 
there's another panel over here and again you can pop off look at engine parts but if you want to you can put on a secondary panel that has bullet holes in it so it looks like it got shot up and is need of repair so it's pretty cool that they that he had these as well because um a lot of times those little extra parts are missing because most people kept it with these on and they didn't uh, use the bullet the bullet hole ones so um, consequently those bullet hole ones would get lost a lot so it's neat that uh, he included those because I remember having them as a kid off to the side I, I always had them sitting off to the side um, there is something going on with the stickers on this one. They're, they're kind of wearing away. So you, I could do with a sticker pack if I find it, but, um, otherwise I'm, I'm pretty darn happy with this thing. And, uh, yeah, that's the only, I mean, if that's the only issue you have, then you're in good shape. <clears throat> so cool. Well, um, how much more can we look at, right? I don't know. I don't know how much more we can do with this thing. Right now. Um, I am just so eternally grateful that I was able to get this. I actually won this off an auction for uh, $94 in change. Um, plus some shipping. I think it was like $12 shipping on top of that. And uh, I'm ecstatic because uh, Scuba, Geek Strong, um, I had a few people looking out for me. Um, some guys that went to recent car boot sales and way back when's been looking for me. Joey's been looking. And I set a price limit of 130 Maybe I'll go, I would go in my head. I was like, maybe I'll go to 150, but I can't go anywhere above that. Cause I've been seeing these sell for 120 to 130, 135. Um, but I, I've been taking that with a grain of salt because most of the ones I see sell in the 120, 130 range do have something that is broken on them. At least in my opinion, it's broken. Like it has some stress marks that are more than what I'm uh, comfortable with and some things wrong with them, like landing gear issues that uh, I wouldn't be able to deal with. And um, so I kept trying to bid in that range, but get a, a good one, a mint one, um, a really nice one. And I finally won one for 94 just 94 dollars so it wasn't even a hundred dollars well i mean after you factor in shipping it was like 110 basically or 105 or whatever it was 94 dollars plus 12 dollars shipping so um almost 110 after you tax and everything right so it, it, i got it for less and it actually is complete and has everything and it's including these bonus because like i said some of the ones that went for 120 didn't have these and didn't have a file card. Sometimes they don't even have a figure. So um, I think I made out here because it's complete. There's only one landing gear with some slight uh, um, damage on it, but it it's not gonna it's not broken. You know what I mean? And you, I got Wild Weasel, the file card, everything. So uh, I made out like a bandit on this one. This is um, absolutely incredible. And uh, I can't wait to get, I got to get to that side room that has all the G.I. Joe stuff and put this on display. Also, I'm thinking I do have all the jets within reach. Maybe on a Sunday morning vintage, we'll do a G.I. Joe jet day. And we'll look at the uh, Rattler, the Sky Striker, the Conquest X-30, and the Cobra Raven, Night Raven, and... Uh, just take a good look at all four of the awesome jets that G.I. Joe had on offer back in the early 80s. All right, guys, I think that's it. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you guys appreciate this. And uh, the Cobra Rattler is finally in the collection. I am, 
I am absolutely blown away, ecstatic here. This is awesome. So freaking cool. So cool. Yeah, I'm loving this. All right, guys, I'm John. I'm out of here. We'll catch you guys on the next one. See you.